Hello everyone, Relgan here again with another CVT. This time we're having a look at a game by Superfjord. I think we, he already submitted another game quite a while ago. And he struggles a little bit against the proxy barracks into cloak banshee play where he will try to counter the opponent and will eventually fail. And we're going to have a look at what exactly goes wrong in this game. Right off the bat, he is going for a pool first into a hatch. Um, pretty good. Smart opener. Takes the gas a little bit quick, but it's okay. It's okay. Once them, you want you really want these drones out, but he sees the barracks, so of course he makes links and cuts a couple drones, and this should mean that he basically blind counters this opener. It's also only two barracks and not four barracks, so it's a it's so it's definitely a very very weak version of the proxy rex play. Let's see how he handles it here. Very good, very good. Kills the marines. Hatchery is done. Starts the queen immediately. Very good. The queen from the main comes down here to fire at the bunker, I presume. Yeah. He's getting link speed. Let's see. Stops mining gas. A little bit late, but it's okay. Also, Roach Warren. Keep in mind, very important to note here the Zerg is actually behind in workers. Terran didn't even get an orbital command, that's definitely a mistake, Terran should have gotten that orbital. Not sure why he built the gas either, but uh, we will see. I mean he built the gas, but he's not mining any gas. Yeah, you have to be a little, little bit careful against these marines while um, oh, attacking the rocks. Yeah, but he keeps losing links and um, units here, he's only a slightly add-in workers. The Terran is finally starting his orbital right now. Yeah, if he kills these rocks, the push is definitely over. That was foreseeable, but it's okay. It's building two overlords. Up until now, it's a pretty good hold. Not sure why he pushes out with the queen. queens right now, because there's no way he's gonna kill these barracks. Like, barracks are way too tanky. I can actually pu put on a little bit of music as well. Right. Now, let's see. So he positioned his links and roaches in front of the turn base. Queens are waddling across the map as well. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do here. Because he saw he saw all the marines that his opponent has and it's very hard to push up into marines to begin with. Even down here it would be kind of difficult given the marine count. But it's even harder up a ramp because he can just lift these depots, right? So there is no way he can counter him now. What he should do as a Zerg is use his drone advantage, keep those queens at home, inject twice, inject both hatcheries and just stay calm. Like there's no point in trying to be overly aggressive now. Take that third base and just drone up. Because Terran doesn't have a natural command center. He invested all his money into barracks and now he's getting tech. And instead the Zerg is going to suicide up this ramp I assume. Like if he tries to run in here with links he's going to lose everything. Yeah, see, like the, all of the links are all the links are dead before they even hit once, and then there's only roaches left. There's a bunker here. You just cannot attack into this. But you should have done as the Zerg is run across the map if he wants to be aggressive, poke up the ramp and go home because now the Zerg is way behind. It might not look like the Zerg is that far behind because. Um, well, they're kind of even in supply. The Zerg has a lot of overmins that he's not spending. He's building additional links instead of drones right now. And what I would be scared of as the Zerg is possible aggression of the on the bio side. But I also see that he has a tank. If there's a tank, there's a good chance that there's a starport. If there's a starport, liberators, banshees or medivac drops could be on the way. Even though Superfjord held the early push re really well over, he over here, the eventual counter of him was way big of a loss. Like, look at the resources lost. He lost more than twice the amount his opponent lost. And he's only mining slightly more with 8 workers more. Because Terran has mules, so Terran is actually mining more gas and only slightly fewer minerals because he's not muling properly right now. And then here comes the Banshee. Sir completely unprepared. 
at the 8 minute mark. I mean, keep in mind, if Zerg would have just thrown up, he could easily be at 120, 130 supply right now. If he just thrown up. Then he builds a spine, for whatever reason. But yeah, I don't think he can deal with the Banshee. He cannot drop, run up the ramp, of course, because run, like you don't need to kill a 1 base Terran. The 1 base Terran is mining out anyways. All you need to do is... Either you can try to keep him from expanding, but he will, will eventually take his natural either way. And you can keep him from taking his spurt, you can go for mutas, prude lords, you can get that really good beefy army out if you have time for it. Get the upgrade so you won't lose in a straight up fight with links. Get the baning speed with baning so the biome army cannot do anything to you. Get some queen scroll going to spread creep. And don't be surprised when the cloak banshees appear. Because all the circle really had to do Let's go back a little bit. Like, I'm gonna go a little bit ahead. The game was pretty good up until here. I mean, there were some mistakes, some links were lost, some minor mistakes. But it, it makes absolutely no sense to see this amount of marines and think, I'm gonna run up the ramp and kill him. Like, that doesn't work. It also makes no sense to send the queens across the map, because what are, what are they gonna do? I mean, the opponent doesn't even have a factory yet, because he invested all, all the money into marines, obviously. So the queens are not gonna do anything, all they are gonna do is clock up the ramp at best. And then the roaches... Yeah, roaches can be cute. I like to go for roaches to defend these barrack, barracks pressures myself, but also cut the links. Like, I don't get link speed. And yeah, all the Sarkreed had to do right now is thrown up at home, poke across the map with the links, cut what his opponent is doing. If he sees a lot of marines, be prepared for a marine attack. If he sees that the opponent is going for factory tech or something, be prepared for anything else. But And if he sees no natural, then the Zerg <coughs> can comfortably drone up to 30 drones and then play the game from there. That is what I would have done. Then you can play ahead with your upgrades, etc. You are not allowed, you can't think, oh well, I counter, I can't, I survived the marine pressure, I now won the game. Because you, you barely survived it, right? You're slightly ahead in workers, and your opponent has a way big army lead. So yeah, I mean, technically the army lead isn't that big, because uh, links and marines, like, in, the, in terms of cost, and he also has queens and roaches, but marines are way more efficient. Especially up a ramp like this. He couldn't run up the... if he had roaches here, the turn could also, couldn't run up the ramp with marines either. It's just how ramps work. They give that nice, nice little defender's advantage. And yeah. So I hope this helped you, Super Fjord. Thank you for watching.